What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Amir Khan. Amir Khan, Kale Brook, may be fighting in 2021. The year is looking already. After five defeats, 35 wins, um, 21 by knockout, he finally wants to take on Kell Brook. Kell Brook just lost. He is, what, 35, 39 fights. Um, yeah, 39 wins, three losses, 27 by KO. And now the fight may finally happen for the UK public, for the fans in the UK. This was supposed to be a local rivalry. These guys supposed to fought two or three times. Obviously not. Amir Khan had bigger and better things. He did not want to fight Kell Brook despite the age difference. They're both 20, 34 years of age. They've both lost by some of the best in the world. And this is what we have now. And it just shows you the power of humbleness. I remember Mike Tyson said it best. You know, a fighter is not to be humble, but to be humbled. And I think at this point, Amir Khan is finally humbled after the ass whooping he took from Terrence Crawford. After Brooke, he took an ass whooping from Terrence Crawford. Um, I think now it's just the power of Terrence Crawford. <laughs> because at, at one point, I, I wasn't really enthusiastic about Kell Brook and Amir Khan ever getting to the ring because Amir Khan. Amir Khan wanted to fight the best. He wanted to fight Mayweather. He was on Mayweather's trail. He wanted to fight Pacquiao. He was on Pacquiao's trail. All in between these fights, Kell Brook and people that wanted him to fight Kell Brook were screaming Kell Brook's name. However, it didn't go that way. Amir Khan kept searching. He kept searching. He was put down by Danny Garcia. Okay, He was put down by British Press. British Bradis Prescott, okay? He was put down by these guys. Um, people were still, hey, there's Kell Brook. He still didn't want Kell Brook, okay? After he was flattened by Canelo, finally land a superstar fight he was been, he'd been waiting for for the longest. He gets it and gets knocked out in the sixth round with one solid right hand from Canelo. He was unconscious for a little minute. And that still wasn't enough. But people were still yelling, Kell Brook. Meanwhile, Kell Brook goes up to fight Triple G and breaks his eyeball. Then he goes, after that, defends his IBF title and loses it in the UK against Errol the True Spence, which further breaks his eyeball. Okay. <laughs> then that's his second loss because he was undefeated until he decided to go to, uh, through these guys, or these guys went through him, rather. Okay. And then. At the end of it all, last year, took on the pound-for-pound pound best fighter in the world, Terrence Bud Crawford at 147, no catch weight. It was a solid fight, and Terrence Crawford showed him why his name is Terrence Bud Crawford. Okay, so I'm only led to believe this is the doing of Terrence Bud Crawford making him quit. Instead of knocking him out, we're used to him being stopped because he got hit with a shot that he couldn't take the punch. We're used to that. We're used to the heart field guy that still tries to fight, especially with uh, spaghetti legs like he did with uh, Danny Garcia. But this time he quit. He quit. So the power of him quitting, I think that was the thing that humbled him, that brought him back locally. When you go off and you're from a, you're from a particular place and you go off to make a name for yourself and you somewhat make that name, or you struggle to make that name and you forget where you came from, okay? Um, sooner or later, if you get keep, if you keep getting beat down and beat down and beat down, eventually you will come back home. And I think the time is now and I think this fight should happen. Both guys have had their wars outside of the UK and their defeats outside of the UK. Some um, in the UK, like Gail Brook. Okay, you know, except for the Terrence Crawford fight, but um, it's time for these guys to get it on, and I'm for it. Why not? Okay, this 
It might These guys' styles might be one of the best fights that the UK has to offer in a very long time. It'll be like a Gaddy versus Ward, hopefully, because both of these guys should have been in the ring. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of a possible fight between Amir Khan and Kill Brook 2021 in the near future. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.